the average person thinks of corals, they think of reef forming shallow water tropical corals. What we're studying are deep water corals. These are out of sight, out of mind. Most people are not aware of them, but they serve about the same purpose as the coral reefs of the tropics. These primnoid corals that just came up uh, from a deep worker dive provide habitat for organisms uh, in the deeper water. These are colonies of animals, just like the shallow water reefs. They're colonies of animals that live together on a common skeleton. They also have stinging cells in their, in their tentacles. So these are octocorals. They have eight tentacles. And those tentacles are laden with nematocysts, or stinging cells, which they use to capture zooplankton, but they also feed upon organic matter in the water column. The deep water corals differ from the shallow water corals in that they do not form reefs. However, they form dense uh, assemblages. Deep water corals can form vast meadows, supplying habitat for lots of deep water organisms. They're places for juvenile fishes to hide. There are also places for many organisms to feed. Uh, a lot of brittle stars crawl up on the deep water corals and filter feed or suspension feed, catching animals in the water column. Crabs do the same thing. They're not only hiding from predators, but they're using it as a place to feed. Thank you.